So hello and welcome. It's another day, another nonprofit show. Woo! But today is special. We are broadcasting live today from the Cultivate Conference here in sunny San Diego at National University. Um, my name is Meredith Terry, and I'm one of the co-hosts here at the Nonprofit Show. I have my, my co-host, Wendy Adams, joining me today. She's been with us for a couple of days now at the Cultivate Conference, so fun. <laughs> soaking in everything there is to offer. Um, we have been at the, we are on day two now of the Cultivate Conference, and this is year two of yeah. the conference. So it has been a really incredible experience. Wendy and I are just talking about how we, this is our first year for both of us, actually. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't feel like Cultivate Conference has only been two years, which we'll get into that with our guests yeah. here in a little bit. But yeah. Before we get started, we want to give a shout out to all of our very loyal and trusty uh, sponsors here. So big shout out and thank you to Bloomerang, Nonprofit Academy, Staffing Boutique, Fundraising Academy at National University, Nonprofit Thought Leader. 180 Management Group, Your Part-Time Controller, and JMT Consulting. Couldn't do it without you. We really couldn't. Yeah. It, many of them have been with us from the beginning, That's actually. Right. That's so, right. Yeah, it's been incredible. Well, so Wendy, what are your thoughts? I mean, first conference, first year. Oh my gosh. It, it's always going to be on the calendar. There is no way. I have not experienced this type of, well, we'll talk about takeaways, right? I'm literally going to take the relationships that I have forged here. They're not going to stay here. And you can't say that about every conference. So yeah, phenomenal. So you know what I heard about this one? Mm. So I'm a trainer with National right. University. So I've been, I had a really unique kind of experience in being involved in the whole planning, right? So over the past year, the planning that's gone into hosting mm. a conference conference like this has been really yeah. incredible, yeah. right? So one of the things that's um, incredible about this year is that we had a wait list. The, the conference is sold out this year. We have 150 seats because that's what we're allowed with the fire code in the building. We had 150 seats. We have a wait list of 45 people. I saw that. I heard that. I almost was on that wait list. <laughs> so that's how I know there were seven seats left when I signed up. So yeah, absolutely. People, the word is out Yeah, and, and it's growing. So. And you know, the other thing that's insightful for me as I've kind of taken this away way mm. is that I kind of expected that a lot of the folks that would be here are local to San Diego, right? I mean, it's on the east, it's on the west coast, it's easy for folks to get to, but I have met so many folks that are from across the country. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, we have a huge representation from Florida, Florida. actually, yes. <laughs> myself included, right? We were talking in our green room about the weather and kind of the differences in the weather, yeah, yeah. but there has been a huge representation from Florida. Our keynote speaker, actually, Jason Champion with Windspire is from Sarasota, Florida as well. So small world yeah, there. Yeah, right. Florida's definitely got a contingency. And the other thing about the conference that I've really noticed is teams are here. The, the, it, yeah. they're, it's not just one and take it back. Sometimes that's what you have to do. No teams have come together. Yeah. Leaders have said, "Hey, let's let's send majority of or a good contingency of our team." So yeah. that's really said a lot. So tell me, what was like your favorite? Um, what sessions did you attend yesterday? What did you think? Oh wow! So the mentorship. I mean, there's so many I can go on and on. Uh, Jason kicked us off with a great keynote, right, yep. and just pumped us up. Rock paper scissors. Just going to tell you, we played that. <laughs> we did. did you see me on the stage? I did. You almost took it to the end. I did. I almost won rock paper almost scissors. Almost took it to the end. So that was fantastic. But that meant our the panelists of mentors, our mentors, and speaking into that and how important it is, making ourselves available to be mentors, to to mentor. Man, just so empowering. They gave us a call to action, which yeah. I'm stepping into that. Yeah. So, you know, one of the, one of the takeaways that I have, so I, my experience has been a little unique because I didn't actually get an opportunity to sit through many sessions yesterday. I was actually presenting and yeah. speaking as a speaker here. Um, so I got some really great feedback. I gave two sessions yesterday. Mind you, one of those she pulled at the last minute. <laughs> we did. We threw one together at the last minute. And she did great. I'll tell you, we had 48 people in the room. It was wildly popular. Yes. So the first one was on major gifts. Um, it was in our leadership development track. And the whole kind of focus of it was about, you know, building relationships, right? So that's really what we're all about here at Cultivate. It's about impact. It's about relationships. It's about knowledge and gaining knowledge. And so um, that was my first session had to do with major gift officers. 
And we threw in a little spin there on how to manage major gift officers. Ooh, we don't want to like incentivize the yep. wrong activity. So right. that was a really, um, I think, popular. And I think it was insightful for folks in the room. I heard some good feedback from it. Definitely. Yeah. I've had the joy of being able to be a participant and sitting in our breakout times, really hearing from others yeah. what those take takeaways have been. And yeah. They're... And then the second one I presented was about data and technology. So that one was actually really unique. It was a small group. We had about 15 people in the room, but we were able to pass the mic from one to the next. Oh. Everybody was kind of sharing their insights. It Great was interaction. It was. It was really, really unique. So um, so anyways, that being said, we are off to like a great start. We have a half of a day here today. Pat. We have a friend, a special guest. Come join us. Come Come join us. us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody. How's it going, Julia? This is our friend, uh, LaShonda Williams, she is one of our trainers here at Fundraising Academy. She and is MC Extraordinary. You all are too kind. Come on. Cultivate is really cultivating knowledge, relationships, and impact. It has been a phenomenal day. Yes. Oh, my yes. gosh. And yes. today is off to an even better, great start. I mean, we have some phenomenal presenters from the East Coast to the West Coast, and they are doing the most. I'm so excited. We introduced Learning Lab. Yes. So we got a couple of Learning Lab. It's packed. Lab. It's what I packed. Heard. They are packed. And they're packed in a nice, intimate kind of way. Mm. So everyone that's in the audience is able to ask questions, great dialogue, engaging. But most importantly, when individuals leave the conference today, they are ready to implement strategies up. Jack Alato and Jared Williams, they're doing a learning lab today with a toolkit for event planning and fundraising planning. Um, Josue Hernandez is currently facilitating a session on the CFRE. And yeah, so like, yeah, get it, the, done. <laughs> get it done. And the icing on the cake is this particular conference, uh, up to 18 credit hours yes. towards the CFRE. Yes. So that is hashtag winning. Yeah. So we are very <laughs> excited. Like year two, we are amplifying everything that we did last year. But most importantly, we're creating an opportunity for networking. And so there's a lot of community of practices being formed. So let me ask you this. Yes. Shonda was here last year. This is her second conference. Wendy and I are just talking about how this is our first one this year. What's your biggest takeaway? What's the change? What's different this year? This year, dynamically, mm -hmm. and I mean, the one word I would say is amplified. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to, I the, love it. Yes, amplified, because we're offering more sessions this year. We have um, a variety of audience members, again, ranging from the East Coast to the West Coast. Last year, we are, our audience was predominantly the San Diego area. Yeah. So now we've got people the word from is Virginia, out. The right? Word is out. We got people from DC, Florida, 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 right? So word is getting out yes. and this is quality of training, the intimate setting, which creates the opportunity for really authentic engagement. We've set a foundation so that everyone feels very comfortable with sharing. And the part of sharing that's most important to each and every one of us is to be able to share those situations mm -hmm. that you may be encountering that you want some advice on how to facilitate or how to navigate. Well, this is the place where you leave equipped with whatever yeah. it is that you need to amplify fundraising and also your personal professional that's development, it. because that is really important. Yes. As fundraisers, we offer often take care of oh. our organizations. Oh. But a part of that is also self-care. So mm -hmm. this afternoon, I'll be moderating a session. Kim is coming. Yeah, Kim, Kim's yes. here. Mindful She's breathing? Here. Yes. yes. So I will, I'm excited that I'll be moderating her mindful breathing session. So I'm going to take a moment and do what I often tell other people, mm -hmm. which is just breathe. Take a beat. Take a beat. So Soak it in. Lashana was our MC yesterday. If you all have not seen, you got to tune in for the on-demand portion. For those of you that are joining us on demand in a couple of weeks, Absolutely. you'll get to see the energy that Lashana brought. I mean, it was incredible. You all are making me a little embarrassed. No, no. <laughs> so all I can say is I feed off of the energy that I receive. And the energy in the room yesterday was amplified. Everyone present was excited yep. to be here. And they literally created this power surge that again the word i go back to is amplified last yeah. year we set a foundation and this year we create we are literally creating a trend there's lots of engagement both 
physically present and with our app so that they can create lifelong relationships. And that's what's that's happening. That's important. That is what's happening. And I'm hearing it over and over again. Talk about that app. Oh my oh, goodness. Tell us about the Hoover app. Come on. So this is not a commercial, <laughs> but um, we've created some opportunities for engagement. There's poll features, obviously, but the most important part, which is the greatest takeaway that Jason Champion started on yesterday, was talking about the importance of cultivation yes. and the relationships and how oftentimes development professionals will create relationships in a professional setting, but they may not necessarily sustain them. And then there was a subsequent presentation or panel discussion that was held facilitated by Hunter Berger, which was a group of dynamic women, but how to secure a mentor. Yes. And so with this, we want to make sure that everyone has a mechanism in place, a resource that they can stay connected um, based on whether it's the area of expertise that you're currently practicing in, yeah. or it may just be some personal interest. But either way, um, it creates an opportunity to connect beyond the conference, yes. to stay connected, and also to get an inside track on what's coming next, because there's more cultivation to come yeah. yes there is yes. oh my god you were incredible yesterday we are so glad you joined us today lashana williams she's our mc here she's also a trainer at national university delivers incredible content on fundraising all things fundraising and cost selling cycle Absolutely. so we are so glad you joined us we don't Thanks want to make you late her. right yeah. she's, she's on to the next <laughs> for sure definitely <laughs> i'm going back to Josue's session about how to become a cfre so we're cfreing this afternoon in, in the yes, yes. Yes, yes enjoy the rest of your day ladies and gentlemen and don't forget to check out on demand yes have a good one thanks I'm gonna thanks. Out later. Oh my God, what? So much fun. It and that's just it. We can, you can learn, you can build relationships and have a great time. That's, gosh. If that crisis. wasn't, if that wasn't a little taste of the energy at that we had yeah, yeah. at Cultivate yesterday, I mean, like Wendy said, we started the day with like this rock, paper, scissors, like, like war, right? I mean, Jason did it in his keynote session yes. and it was such an incredible like team building. And experience. what was the biggest thing out of that? Continuing to celebrate one another. Yeah. That, that was, you know, we, we stepped into this space. It was throwback for so many of us to play that game, but he encouraged yeah. the fact of we've got to celebrate, continue to celebrate one another and lift each other up. And so put that into practice. I know that's going to be one of my takeaways that's going into one of my keynotes and, you know, just to bring that into the space of how important it is for each of us to be there for one another. Yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, it's been incredible. And like LaShonda said, one thing that's different this year that we didn't have last year is this idea of workshops. Yes. So last year, it's my understanding, of course, Wendy and I weren't here. So everything's been so new to us. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the things that's different about it this year is just we have these workshops. And so it's been um, more of like a hands-on experience, interactive, yeah. interactive mm -hmm. for the folks in the room. Okay. We got another special guest for you here. This is so fun. Pearl, come join us. Come join us. We got another special guest here. Come on in, join, Come us, on. join us. We are oh, live here. Yes, yes, yes. This is Pearl Hoagland. She's the director of Fundraising Academy. So Pearl has like <laughs> made the magic happen here. Okay, yes. this is her event. Pearl, tell us. I mean, Wendy and I weren't here last year. What's new about it this year? Man, well, first of all, it's two days versus one day. By the way, it's so not my event. It's the team's event. This was <laughs> what Three makes teams. her great. That's what makes her great. <laughs> yeah, it was a labor of love and lots of people. Um, I would say the difference between last year, one, more people coming from around the country. Yeah. And a higher percentage. Yes. Uh, which is which is amazing. Because Word I, is out. Yeah. And yeah. I think when you bring in different lived experiences, yeah. it changes the conversation. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. And so that's one thing. Um, the energy is high. It was high last year, but I think people coming back, yeah. there's this desire for more. So the connections are strong. We just had LaShonda join us. Oh, yeah. There you so, go. Yes. So energy we, is high. We were telling the we're like, if that's not a sample of the energy, like you can't get much more of that. And LaShonda yeah. uses the word amplify. And I yeah. think that's what you're saying. It has been amplified. It has been amplified. Yeah. It's almost honoring year one. Yeah. And the like challenge accepted. Yeah. Yep. Year two, one notch up, 10 notches up. Yeah. So now let me ask you this. From a logistics and, and planning mm -hmm. standpoint, like what mm -hmm. goes into planning a conference like this? I mean, an event, there's what, 150 people here? Yep. Okay, so uh, tell us about that process. Having a team, an amazing team. I would say, one, looking at the skill sets and uh, what makes each team member excited. So what things do you want to own? Yes. I was having a team with a strong mission, a collective mission, knowing what we want to achieve, which is ultimately connection and 
education and meaningful and meaningful experience. So really knowing what is it that you want to achieve and, and sticking with that, what partners do we want to bring in who align with that mission? Uh, And like, what would I want to experience? Because I am a, I'm always going to be a fundraiser. We always will. And we're learning. Yeah. We're Mm -hmm. always in that space. Exactly. Right. And we're lifelong learners. That's it. So I'm going to put you on the spot a little here. I heard yesterday that you are graduating with your MBA (laughs) in what, two weeks? Yes. Okay. So tell us about that. It's here at National University. It's here at National University, lifelong learner. Yep. Uh, Probably going to take a break for a while, but (laughs) you should. From learning. (laughs) I'm kidding. But yeah, I mean, so being part of NU, it's a huge benefit being being a staff member. But one thing I love about this university is this university is not for the traditional learner mm. or student. It's for those who are working. So many of our students are first generation. Uh, so they make it so that no matter what your life circumstances are, you have an opportunity to pursue your whatever it is yeah. that you want. So that was me. I wanted to pursue my MBA and I got to do it. So what's your, it's, it's MBA, any specialization or focus? Yes. A concentration in leadership. In leadership. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> you should have led with that one, right? So yeah. how fitting. Yeah. And we were just talking, there's a leadership track here at Cultivate. Mm-hmm. So tell us about the three tracks that we have. Yeah. So leadership development okay. really stays true to our mission of building up the next generation of nonprofit leaders. Uh, and it's also for those who are already more seniors, yes. yeah. right? And different, we're always learning. So leadership development, sustainable growth strategies. How do you build new revenue pipelines for your organization? We all and need that. We all need that. And look at nonprofit as a business. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's mm-hmm. the second. And trends in technology. And really thinking about what is tomorrow in fundraising and also what's applicable no matter the size of your organization. Yeah. It has to be accessible. So those are the three tracks and everything is immediately applicable. You walk away, you have strategies you can implement today. And that's core to who we are as fundraising academy. And that's being clearly stated because we're, I am interacting and engaging with professionals from different size organizations who are walking away and saying, I can do something with this right now. Oh, that's very validating yeah. because yeah. that's important to us. Absolutely. So you said something that is like music to my ears, right? So Pearl said, you know, there's a focus here about running a nonprofit like a business. Mm -hmm. And I feel like so many times in the nonprofit industry, we endeavor to show how very different we are than our for-profit counterparts. Yeah, you guys are going to get Meredith started. No, it's Meredith good. was my soapbox, right? She's we, one of our trainers. Yes. So this is great. Yes. <laughs> we endeavor so to tell everyone how different we are, right? But like mm-hmm. we all, sometimes I feel like we forget in this mm-hmm. industry that nonprofit is a tax status, not yes. a business model, That's exactly right? right. Yep. 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 I think you often hear, I fell into fundraising. Yes. yes. Which is beautiful, but also it's a profession. It is. Yep. And you need training and skills and the confidence and opportunities to learn yeah. to actually be successful and sustain your career. Because if you fall into fundraising, you're doing it for yeah. the mission, but you're not necessarily, you don't have the tools or even information to yeah. work smarter or harder. That's right. You burn it. No, absolutely. And, so, yeah. you know, we can go down the road of scarcity versus abundant mindset, but that's exactly. where that comes in. Exactly. And that's, you know, when we're talking, yeah. 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 And you want to serve your community. So yeah. How do you make sure you have the resources to, to be sustain to, yourself to, 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 to be able to community. do that? If it's yeah. about the mission, well, we're not going to accomplish that if exactly. we're yeah. burnt out on the ground. Yeah. So yeah. we want to change that narrative a little bit. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. that's what this like cultivate. That's what this conference yeah. is all about is like mm-hmm. professionalizing the fundraising process. Yeah. Right. So, so many of us, like Pearl said, kind of fall into fundraising mm-hmm. or stumble well, upon it. Yes. I mean, how yeah. often do you meet folks that are like, I went to college, I got a degree in nonprofit management or fundraising. I mean, I actually did plan always to be a you fundraiser. Did. I did because my mom was a fundraiser oh, okay. and I saw the work that she did. And I said, I knew I was going to do that. I didn't get the degree for it. I got a more general degree, but I knew always that was the knew I would do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is, this is like, you're the anomaly, right? Yeah, because, I guess. <laughs> I mean, so many of us kind of, like you said, I, I, everyone I talk to in this profession kind of falls this? into yeah. it, stumbles into it. Yeah. And so opportunities like this really professionalize that and to do that lifelong learning. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's incredible. So this has been an incredible two days, this oh, conference. So, I can't believe that it's only year two. Yeah, man, me neither. But I do want to know, is there anything that you can give us um, insight for year three? Yeah. Any well, special? Well, we get yeah. any nuggets? Like, yeah. Year tell us. three, organic growth. Well, that's okay. one thing. I, I want to keep this intimate yes. and accessible. 
Uh, but year three, well, we had 50 people on the waiting list, which is wonderful. And also, okay, we want what more we, people. Yeah. So we're looking at what does growth look like yes. in a way that's sustainable and preserves yeah. the beauty of Cultivate. Oh, so yeah. May 2025, I can tell you that. Okay. Um, but yes. more to come as yeah. long as we stay true to our mission. That's incredible. Well, God, Pearl, Pearl, yeah. we know you are so busy today, so we're going to let you get back to hosting your conference. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Us. Thanks for joining us. Okay, great. Well, oh how gosh. incredible is this, right? Right? Pumped. I can't wait to get back in and see what the rest, because we're not done yet, has for us. So we have, all right. So we have, we'll be here until noon, 1230, 1230. today. We'll be here till 1230 today with just nonstop education sessions going on back to back to back. Absolutely. I mean, the the speakers that we have this year are really incredible. Like Dynamic. Yeah. And so authentic. I mean, we know that in our industry, that's what's key. That's what's coming across time and time again. Those that panel of mentors yep. that I mentioned earlier. I mean, they were letting it out, like letting us know these are the steps that we've gone through. These are the challenges. And so you can put yourself in that place and space and see yourself there. Uh, that's what's made all the difference. You know, one of the things that I've noticed is that we had, um, so we had a panel yesterday, a CEO panel, and the room was full. Yes. I mean, it was incredible. The people and the insight that they're getting from it. I have been, we had a networking session last night and we had a sponsor reception the evening, the first evening before the conference. I mean, packed, right? And no one wanted to leave. Yeah. <laughs> no one wanted to leave. We, okay. We'll tell you our secret, everyone. We had to close the bar down yesterday <laughs> to get folks to leave the room, right? Because like every nobody was ready to leave. It was 5.30. Folks were still here hanging out, um, you know, just ch chatting, networking. Getting to know each other and making sure that those, like you said, those connections don't end here. So it's what you want. When you put when you put the yep. work, as Pearl said, in, into to putting something this on, you don't want it just for the moment in time. And that's yep. Cultivate is about here and beyond. And I've gotten, uh, I have like a whole new Rolodex of, it's not even a thing. Does anybody use Rolodex? We might have just dated ourselves. I know what that is. <laughs> I have a whole Rolodex now of like new business cards. Okay. So I've been getting cards from everybody, folks reaching out saying like, I really want to connect with you after this. Um, Jason, our yes. champion is like I said, our, our keynote know. speaker. I mean, he, he came up to me, he said, so you're in Tampa and he's like, I'm in Sarasota. I'm right down the road. We should get together for coffee. We should meet up. And, um, so, and, it, and that's not, we know from the experiences that we had, that's not just something to say that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's really hungry for that. There is a real sense of we're going to be better together and, and everybody's really clamoring around that. So, uh, gosh, year, year two for the conference, year one for us, un yeah forgettable. And, uh, you know, we've got to jump back in and make sure that we're not missing anything. So I know it's almost time for us to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We've had just an incredible uh, two-day experience. Oh my Wendy and I are both heading home today. So keep your fingers crossed for us that there's no flight delays, weather delays. Because we're going east. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you that are used to that West Coast, East Coast travel or vice versa, I mean, it's hard to make it all the way across the country without running into a thunderstorm or Somebody like a, an ice storm or something somewhere along the way. So we are really hopeful that we make it today. But before we close out, we just want to give a shout out to all of our sponsors again. I mean, we wouldn't be here without you. I know Julia told me that when they started this, the mm. nonprofit show, it was during COVID. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea was it was going to be like a four, a couple of episodes, four or five episodes. Just connected and get us over. <laughs> to get us through the, you know, the COVID time period and look where we are today. Right. I mean, we have a co-host panel now. We have eight co-hosts that are new some of you may have seen Wendy and I before and all of our colleagues on the co-host panel. You'll be seeing a lot more of us over the next couple of weeks here. But as we close out, we hope that you're going to join us at uh, Cultivate On Demand. Those videos will be available in the next couple of weeks. So you're going to be able to get access all of the content that we're getting live here today. Uh, out. So don't miss out on that. Thanks to our to our sponsors. So again, it's Bloomerang, Nonprofit Academy, Staffing Boutique. Fundraising Academy here at National University, Nonprofit Thought Leader, 180 Management Group, Your Part-Time Controller, and JMT Consulting. So thanks so much to all of you. And remember when we sign off, what do we always say? Be well. So, so you, you can, can do well. well. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys.